Hey everyone, welcome to the First Division Museum at Cantini. My name is Vince Cassini and I'm uh, one of the assistant museum educators here. And I was uh, part of the planning process and building process for our catapult for the uh, Cantini Catapult Contest here. So what we're showing you today are just photocopies of our original plans. And these are just the types of things that we've been using. Um, they're just mostly rough sketches and that type of thing, but it's done to scale on quarter inch graph paper. And it just gives us a general idea of the different type of materials, shapes, sizes, and equipment we're gonna be using. All right, so this is just our main fully deployed uh, view from the side here on our small plans. And it really has just the basic frame and design that you can find on a lot of common ones that you can see online and things like that. But uh, we decided to use four by fours just uh, for stability's purpose with a few 2 by 4s thrown in just for support. Um, we just wanted to make sure that everything was sound and solid using the 4 by 4s So we're starting with our base down here, a common A-frame, a um, little support up the middle, some 2 by 4s our firing arm, which is going to have our counterweight on one end, uh, which has kind of got a double hinge thing going on, as uh, just to make it a free-falling type of thing. At the end, we have uh, our sling and launch for our payload that's going to be sitting on a trowel underneath. So when the actual firing mechanism happens, the payload will come out, up, and over, and release. We just have things uh, for like our sling release. As you guys know, with the trebuchet, the style we're building, the sling release has to be at a certain angle, because when the sling is releasing, you want your projectile to leave at a 45 degree angle. As a result, you need to have your sling point where it attaches to your firing at about a 30 degree angle, and have it release the arm itself release at almost a vertical because your payload is going to be in the sling behind the actual shot of your firing. These are just the general designs for our counterweight, just making sure that things are going to be uh, solid. They're going to fit. The sizes are all right. We had to take the measurements and make sure things are okay. There are multiple ways you can do it. We've decided that uh, we're going to cast a few cement blocks to fit inside a large block basket that's going to be sitting underneath our swing arm. That way we can adjust the weight we're using in our counterweight. Um, thus resulting in a change in distance and height. Um, just continually we have other views um, with it fully deployed and the firing arm on the move. From above it'll look something like this. And then we also have things like uh, the A-frames individually without any uh, accoutrements or anything else, the firing arm or anything like that, just the A-frames on their own with sizes, woods, what we're going to use on the side. And then things like our base. So we have um, two total views of the fully complete thing from different angles and then each component part uh, mapped out for their individual pieces. So the base to the A-frames, the firing arm, and the counterweight. So that's how we're going about it.